Hi everyone. In this demo, we are going to show you the single sign-on flow when Oracle eBusiness Suite R12 is integrated with Oracle Access Manager. Oracle Access Manager is Oracle's recommended single sign-on server and the latest version is 11GR2 PS2. When you integrate Oracle Access Manager with Oracle eBusiness Suite, you must also have Oracle Internet Directory as mandatory identity store. So when you log into Oracle eBusiness Suite, when integrated with Oracle Access Manager, Oracle eBusiness Suite redirect users to the Oracle Access Manager login page, which collects your user ID and credentials, compare that user ID and password with Oracle Internet Directory and then after successful authentication it creates a session in Oracle Access Manager and Oracle Access Manager send users GUID and user ID to WebGate to WebGate WebGate then forward this user ID and GUID to EBS Access Gate which is a another application or G2E application we deploy as part of integration. Access Gate picks up this GUID and user ID and compare with a existing user in FND user table and creates a ICX session for this user. After creation of ICX session, user is redirected to the EBS page and user can then access its resources. I already have a user that was created from EBS and now I have that user in Oracle Internet Directory. The user ID is EBS to OID. I'm now trying to access an EBS environment which is integrated with Oracle Access Manager as single sign-on. So my host name of eBusiness is ebs.k21technologies.com colon 8021 which is my e-business URL on hitting enter if you see it's going to OASTML apps login and now user has been redirected to a Oracle access manager page on port number 14100 which is Oracle access manager port and OAM I type my user ID as EBS to OID and this is a user which got which we created in eBusiness got synced to OID and now my Oracle Access Manager is authenticating against uh, Oracle Internet Directory. So when I submit this username and password, it is going to validate against this OID here for this user. So on clicking login, now it is going to redirect me to Oracle eBusiness Suite after successful authentication. So you see here page for Oracle eBusiness Suite and logged in user is EBS2 OID, which is the user we have just authenticated from Oracle Internet Directory via Oracle Access Manager. Okay, so you just now saw how a EBS logon works with single sign-on. Now I'm going to run the same process again but this time I'm going to show you HTTP headers or redirects which happen when you log in to EBS through single sign-on. So I'm trying again the same URL for EBS. Hit enter and if you notice the HTTP headers, I have this little tool called live HTTP headers. And if you query the URL, you tried ebs.k21technologies.com8021 which redirected user to oahtml oa underscore html apps login from there you see there is a 302 redirect to the url or location im.k21technologies.com colon 7777 underscore ebs auth underscore prd forward slash sso login this Redirect happened because in my EBS I have a profile option which is set to 
profile option application authentication agent and the value is set to this 7777 EBS auth underscore PRDR12. Once user is redirected this login page, I'm getting EBS auth underscore PRDR12 on IAM.K21 technologies colon 7777. This 7777 is a web server with the web gate installed. So since there's a web gate installed, it's it's protected by Oracle Access Manager. The Oracle Access Manager is sitting here on or running on imtr61.k21technologies.com on port number 14100. And that's how we are on the login page. Now, when I type my username and password, which is EBS to OID and password is welcome one, Oracle Access Manager behind the scene will take this username and password and validate against my Oracle Internet directory, which is my directory store or identity store. So on click on click on login. Now, if you notice here, if you go back, so we were on on submit button. We submitted it submitted to 14100, which is my Oracle Access Manager port number and auth underscore cred underscore submit. It submitted my user ID and password, which goes into the clear text, which is username is equal to EBS to OID and password is welcome one W1. After successful authentication, the URL was URL initially requested was HTTP IM dot K21 technologies.com colon 7777 ebs auth underscore prd do ssl login and that's where my access gate which is a j2e application this access gate then validate this user id against my fnd user table in ebs and after successful authentication or validation of this user it creates a ic accession in ebusiness suite and then redirect user to the home page of uh, ebusiness and that's what you see on screen here. So this completes Oracle eBusiness Suite logon flow when EBS is integrated with Oracle Access Manager as single sign-on.